Hello there again, YouTube. It is once again I, your Gothic host with the most Knox Burson, back to bring you more blasphemous banter. Today, we're trying fucking coffee. You know why we're trying coffee? Because I had a 12 hour long DD session yesterday. I ain't caffeine. <sighs> this is Beaumont Coffee, classic roast. Mostly because the other kind that all these is decaf. And decaf is fucking evil. It's literally fucking evil. Why would you give someone decaf coffee? Do you hate them? Do you not want them to have love in the, their lives? Do you want them to go home and cry themselves to sleep at night? That must be why you're giving them caffeine. You evil fucking communist prick. Anyway. Oh, you open up, you stiff your fucking whole face inside. Oh, yeah, right to the brain stem. Seriously, though, on a real note, this stuff actually smells very good for... Uh, bargain basement coffee. It, it smells delicious, to be totally blunt. It has a deep, rich, earthy aroma. You can really, like, you can still smell how sharply this stuff is caffeinated. Like, this stuff is like seven fifty for an entire canister this size, and it smells very good. Comes only in roast, in a ground roasted format. It doesn't come in whole bean. Which is okay, really, because by weight, uh, ground is still better for your money than whole bean is. Even though I think we all probably prefer whole bean. Couldn't figure out for years and years and years why it was I preferred whole bean to ground. And I think it's just the oils don't get as dried out uh, with whole bean as they do with pre-ground coffee, I think. Now, I'm a little bit of a ca caffeine addict. So I make a two-pod cup of this stuff. By the way, if I can ever plug a fucking coffee maker on this show, I'm going to plug the Keurig. We have had ours since we got married. Uh, so like seven and a half years now. And this motherfucker chugs along like nothing ain't nothing. Every fucking day of the week. It's cup after cup after cup after cup after cup. This fucking coffee maker never fails. I think it was like 150, maybe 200 bucks when we very first got it seven and a half years ago. Ugh. Do yourself a favor, pick up a late model fucking Keurig if you're ever in the market for a decent ass coffee maker. It has several bells and whistles on it. it. Makes five different sized cups of coffee. Can be programmed to make coffee all on its own, which. I never program it to do because, to be completely honest with you, I don't want to always run it for uh, with the electrical drain. Uh, in fact, full disclosure, we do what uh, many people who are on a very tight budget do and unplug all of our appliances when we are not using them. Uh, if you ever end up seeing uh, our stuff in the background, like our microwave, for instance, you'll notice it's almost never plugged in during the videos that I make in here because we keep everything unplugged uh we've discovered that believe it or not it actually makes like a noticeable difference in our energy bill a noticeable Knox, you might ask um difference of between 25 and 50 dollars a month like yeah i wouldn't have thought that honestly but a friend of ours back in college explained it to us that basically everything uh zombie draws electricity that's plugged in so you're always running power which sucks a lot more power than you would think it would and for the first time that Val and I ever tried just unplugging shit our energy bill fell by I think it was almost $50 the first month that we tried doing it was considering our energy bill that month was only 150 our energy bill then Months before, I been 150 bucks, hundred ten dollar energy bill, not bad. Anyway, as I bore you with domestic uh, <laughs> adventures in being domestic, so now I'm not gonna lie. This is no thrills, no frills, very stripped down blue collar coffee. <laughs> Uh, it is a medium roast. I prefer it to be 
a light roast, but this is the best caffeine kick you're going to get for seven and a half bucks, so whatever. I could go with it being a little bit less earthy for how it smells, but considering that it's so cheap and from all these, I'm lucky that it smells as good as it does. Um, in all reality, though, it smells just fine. I, I, I would only give it a smell of 5 out of 10. Uh, only because I've smelled much nicer stuff. Uh, I think our favorite smelling coffee is probably the Highlander Grog from Cameron's. Which smells absolutely delicious. It smells like toffee and butterscotch. And there's a little rum in there. It's pretty good. Now, uh, 16 ounces of fresh, magical, life-giving bean juice. Now, I'm a little obsessed with this Planet Oat Oat Milk Creamer. I buy it in the coffee cake flavor. I fucking love this stuff. This stuff is kind of expensive. This stuff is like $8 for this quart, which sucks. But, you know, I can't really eat, da eat dairy or drink dairy even. So, that's how it goes. While I'm being gluten-free, I am supposed to be dairy-free. I'm not dairy-free a lot of the time, which is why I almost killed my D&D session last night. Because we had pizza with three different kinds of cheese on it. And that was unintentionally terrifying. A little TMI there, but uh, I think I scared the living shit out of my D&D group. Anyway. Oh. So, not gonna lie, I've tried this stuff black before. Black, it tastes pretty harsh. It is acrid, and it is a very harsh coffee. And it, it, it tastes very much like coffee. Um, because, like I said, it's not flavored. So, you don't realize just how bitter coffee is going to be on its own until you taste it. And it is, but what are you going to do? You know, like I said, for seven and a half bucks, for... Uh, 1.14 and a half ounces, so 30.5 30, 30. ounces for seven and a half dollars. Realistically, am I complaining about uh, it tasting like just straight coffee for that kind of price? No, I'm not. Um, what else can I really say about it? Honestly, I've been surviving on this for the last probably three months now, and... I miss flavored coffee, but this tastes better than the right regular flavor of like Cameron's does. So, I mean, it's smooth and it smells and tastes like it's supposed to. It's not overtly bitter. It's just bitter. Uh, with the coffee cake, oat milk, creamer from Plant Oat in it, which by the way, I give this stuff a 9 out of 10. I think it tastes exactly like what it advertises itself as, so I very much recommend, personally, this creamer. This creamer gets a 9 out of 10. It is extremely good. So what do I give this coffee? This is the Blue Collar Man's Punch you in the face with coffee and wake you the hell up coffee. I give this a 7 out of 10. It's bold, it's refreshing, it's smooth. It tastes like coffee is supposed to taste with no frills and nothing special. No bells, no whistles. But it will still wake you the hell up. So after two coffee pods and 100 milligrams of caffeine, I happen to be in love. I will also give this a 7 out of 10. Mostly because it could taste better. <laughs> I have been Knox Burzum, still waking up. Like, comment, subscribe, follow, uh, join us on Patreon, throw a couple coins at your Witcher if you want me to keep on making stuff because I gotta buy stuff to try stuff, and buying stuff costs money. So you wanna help me out with that? I'll give you a mention. Peace, love, and heavy fucking metal, folks. It's coffee time. Bye!